या हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज जितेंद्र बापना इन टूडेज वीडियो वील गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर अ डॉक्यूमेंट टी आई विच हैज़ बीन रिसेंटली लॉन्च एज अ पार्ट ऑफ योर डेटा क्लाउड सो वॉट इज अ डॉक्यूमेंट टी आई एज नेम सजेस्टेड अ डॉक्यूमेंट टी आई इज यूज टू रीड और एक्सट्रैक्ट अनस्ट्रक्चर और सेमी स्ट्रक्चर डेटा फ्रॉम द डॉक्यूमेंट लाइक पी डी एफ फाइल मे बी इमेज फाइल राइट सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू इफ यू आई वॉन्ट टू एक्सट्रैक्ट अ डेटा फ्रॉम द इन वॉइस राइट सो आई कैन यूज द डॉक्यूमेंट टी आई टू एक्सट्रैक्ट ऑल द information from the invoice right or if you want to extract the information from any purchase order or any other document right you can use the document ai so currently it support a uh, two generative ai model uh, for extracting the information one is open ai gpt 4.0 and gemini 2.0 plus right there are uh, two type of file supported pdf and the image so for pdf it support up to 50 pages per document maximum and it for the image it support jpeg and the png a document site should not exit 10 mb so it it has a limitation of 10 mb of file you cannot upload the file which is more than 10 mb it also expose certain api that you can use to uh, to extract the information from the document to generate the schema right or like uh, or to update the document configuration right so there are many thing if you want to delete a uh, document ai configuration like so there are some some list of api it has been provided as a part of your document ai but we will going to use a graphical user interface for extracting the information from the document right so what we will going to do so we will going to log in into data cloud and in data cloud we have something called unstructured data so we will use that unstructured data and we will upload the document and we will going to uh, no for we will going to generate the schema for that particular document correct and then then like you know then we'll going to extract the information from that document let me show the document first right so let me minimize this and let me show the document first so this is my invoice so where if you see in my invoice i have a table this is line item i have some payment instruction right and like i have some invoice detail like you know bill to from then i have a line item this is table basically right so this is a normal invoice so let me go back to my data cloud uh, salesforce organization i will log in to my salesforce organization and once you log in make sure like data cloud is set up for your organization so like you know you can just uh, watch there is documentation available how to set up the data cloud it is just uh, one or two like few clicks and you just able to set up the data cloud and also you can create a free developer account salesforce developer account where it is come up with some enstein ai agent force and data cloud so you can use that okay so for now i will just search for data cloud in the app launcher i just click data cloud okay so once i get into the data cloud so here you can see data stream data lead object model object we will going to discuss in later videos but you can click on more and just click on unstructured data once you have done this right you will see this kind of graphical user interface and here it's saying i don't have any document schema right so let me create new either you can use the existing hdmo nothing it's unstructured data model object or you, or you can like you can generate the schema without a source object also i will go with without source object i will just say next and now you want to upload that file right so file for which i have to generate the schema which is invoice details or either okay you can create the manually you can just create the schema manually or you can use uh, auto extraction use llm so i will use auto extraction then so just say next okay it has generated the schema for you and it also generated the table right so if you see your line item it is in the form of table right if you see item code description quantity unit price so it automatically generated but even it see the payment instruction is generated in the form of table right but i don't want to do that but let's test it out and then we will do changes so so basically it allow like if you feel like you uh, if you want like you know this field uh, somewhere else or if you want some different name you can change it okay just test it let's see what information it extract okay so let's wait uh, till it extracting the information it taking some time okay it generated so you can see all data has been generated like invoice number invoice date everything it has been extracted let's verify some kind of grant total i will verify under tax 194 and 2134 let's go and just verify 
so here let's see the grant total is 2134 which is correct tax is 194 see all this information is correct but if you see this uh, payment instruction it consider as a you know like uh, some kind of table right but yeah it's fine like even it's considered a table we can change it okay so what we will do so let's see that what has been in the table so here you can see the table is generated preview so you can see whatever information available in the line item invoice line item you can see it everything here right and apart from that you can see the bank information is in the form of table it's fine to have a in the form of table i don't have any issue but here i am missing one of the thing right a payment terms and condition i don't have that particular field so i can just say add field and here i can just say payment terms and condition okay and you can just say what you want to do you can provide the prompt extract the payment terms and condition generally you can find this information at the end of invoice so you can, you can provide some kind of prompt even you just uh, expect the terms and condition the llm is in enough, enough smart to identify the right but if you provide some more detail so it will be always like you know it will be have a more accuracy i will just say add and i can just run it again let's see it able to extract the payment terms and condition so now you can see please make the payment within the 30 days it able to do that okay so now if if i want to move this i can delete this and i just want bank number bank name i don't want account number and swift detail right so i can just add field i can just say bank name okay field type i can keep as a string it supports string number and boolean extract the bank name and from payment instruction i will just say okay just save it and test this out it should yeah now it able to extract the proper you know uh, bank name and everything now i feel like i am good like everything is good you know so whatever i want all details are there if you want to add the column like you know you might be have a possibility some of the invoice line item are more columns right so you can add more columns also so like you know so you can do that just i will save this it will ask me for the name I will just say invoice document EI. Okay, this is I will name. I will just save it. So here you can see your invoice document D EI has been generated. Here you can see the outputs and everything. Let's go back to document EI. You can see it here. I will use one more. I will take the purchase order one without source object. Just say next. Let me show the purchase order to you. Okay, so mock purchase order. So here, like you have this kind of purchase order, P purchase order details, vendors, ship to. Then again, we have a table, and then we have some terms and conditions, right? So let's see. Okay, so I will upload that document. First thing you have to upload the document. Okay, I will just say done. Use LLM. I will just say next. So here you can see all terms and conditions everything is there prompt instruction everything so it generated po number po date delivery date vendors ship to subtotal let's say table it also generated the table with a few columns item code description quantity and the total just test this out okay if everything is good okay it extracted it quickly so here you can see you know so for terms and condition like it it have a mul multiple terms and condition right typically merge it merge everything right into a single field all the terms and condition then it, you can see all the information about the po right then we can see po line items detail so i can just say preview so here you can see the table which has been extracted from the purchase order right so no, for now i this looks good to me if you want to change the model also i will use gemini flash right and test it let's see what it does So it, let's see if it able to generate yeah it, this is also able to generate the information right so it also have a table then just say preview so same same detail right so you can it support as i mentioned it support two models so whatever model you want to use right so you can use depending on like you know you can just check what are the 
uh, like trade offs for both the models. So depending on that, you can choose the right model for your requirement. I will just say save and I just say purchase order AI. Save it. So now you can see we have generated two things, right? Both are in the activated state. If you want to delete it, you can do it, delete from here, right? And this is the data space, which has been where the document has been just uh, saved, right? So this is what uh, you can do with the document here. We will going to discuss more complex use cases in upcoming video. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please click on like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching.